My name is Tom McCready, and today we're going to be discussing a little bit about C sharp indexers. This example is based on SoloLearn Born Classes indexers. And more specifically, it stems from this page where they go into a little bit of an introduction on indexers, but it's pretty brief, and it seems like people in the comment section um, would like some more information. I just can't follow. Uh, more explanation than an example. So what we're going to do is go through uh, an example from scratch, building it up. Uh, and first we're actually going to start without indexers. And then we're going to see how indexer can actually help solve the problem. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is create a new class. And we're going to be creating a class for a, a book of quotes. So class book of quotes. And inside this class, we're going to have a, an array. Uh, and this array is going to store our quote. So we'll make a private string quotes equal new string 100. And this array of strings is going to store the quotes of the book. So we're going to create two public functions uh, to modify the quotes that we'd be creating. So first, let's make a, a get. So public get quote. Uh, and we're going to actually want that public string get quote and slot. And what we're going to have the get quote do is return us the string of the quote we're using. So we'll say return quotes of the slot number. And then we will have another uh, public method. And this time we're going to set a quote into our book. So we're going to store a quote inside uh, our book. So public void because we don't really need to return anything set quote and slot and then we're gonna say quotes sub slot equals uh, and this time we need to not only pass it obviously the slot number but we're gonna have to pass it our quote so string quote so this is a very basic class, and what we're doing is, again, we have an array of 100 strings that's going to be quotes, but it's private. So to operate on this, we have two public methods, one that's going to allow us to retrieve a quote from our book, and then one that's going to allow us to store a quote inside our book. And because we're using an array versus something like a collections-like list, uh, we're limited in the size when we just specified an arbitrary size of 100. So let's, let's do a little bit with this. We'll say um, book of quotes volume 1 equals new book of quotes. So we're creating an object uh, or an instance of our book of quotes called volume one. And inside volume one, let's uh, set quote into slot zero. And we'll say, I'll be back. Volume one dot set quote one. Um, we can say 1.21 gigawatts, and that's probably not spelled correctly. Volume one dot set quote two. Uh, that's fake news. Now we are going to um, use our, our get method to get a quote out of the book. So let's say, uh, let's write to the 
console.write line and then we'll say volume one dot get quote and we'll say zero. And uh, we returned our quote in our book at index zero, which is I'll be back. This is a valid way of going about this. We could actually have our get and our set quotes um, to, to store into our book of quotes, and we could use that. Indexers actually gives us an alternate way of accessing our class uh, by an index. And what this basically allows us to do is let's say instead of saying volume one dot set quote, I just wanted to say volume one sub zero equals I'll be back. And instead of uh, saying um, the that I want to get the quote, I just want to be able to refer it as volume one sub zero. So console.write line, got the dot. Still not the dot, there we go. So this way we could refer it to uh, to our slot zero directly, and so indexers gives us this option. So let's let's implement an indexer in this class right next to our other uh, methods that we have. So in order to create an indexer, we have to define how those operations will work, and to do that, we use the accessors of uh, get and set similar to the way we, we use them with properties. So the first thing we, we're going to do is public um, string this int index. And then we have our get and our set that we're going to fill out. Now, the way we implement this indexer, this is just the format that you have to define within C Sharp to say, this is how we're going to treat indexers for the book of quotes, uh, in this case, or for your class in general. So when we are using uh, an indexer and we're going to pass a string, when we get that, all we really want it to do is return quotes sub slot. So the exact same thing we did in our function get quote. In a similar way, for our set function, we're going to say uh, quotes sub slot. And instead of slot, we would use index. In the same way here, instead of slot, we should use index equals value. So let's look at and compare these two. We have our get quote where we had to pass in slot and we return quotes.slot. For our get here, we're returning quotes.index because we call it index here. Uh, and for our set, method, we're using quotes um, slot equals quote for our sweat set quote method. And for our indexer uh, definition of set, we say quotes sub index equals value. So almost identical. But because we've done this, we've basically defined how we can access our class directly from an index. So if we go down here, and we say, let's make this four, and we'll say grass is greener 
I'm not going to type out the, the whole sign. The, the, the grass is greener. It's a horrible book of quotes, but it, it, it'll get the message across. And we're going to say, let's output that. So now if we run this, and we wait for the output to be run, we've basically defined the way that we can now access our book of quotes via uh, this type of format. So it's, it's defining us, uh, it's really allowing us the ability to access your class directly via this uh, index method as opposed to having to use uh, a method to define it. And uh, it, it's, because you're using get and set, you can do the same types of things that you were able to do in properties. You can adjust how you actually index into, the, into your class. Um, in the same similar manner, you could do, have done it with uh, your, your methods. But that's what indexers allow you to do at the most basic level.